Welcome to the Eat Audio. Release your wolf. You're still moving too slow. I am not criticizing you. I am speaking from a point of mere fact. You are moving too slow. And with how slow you are moving... A pack of demons is sure to be on our trail. I said I knew how to avoid them on my own. With you, though, it's an added liability. More footsteps to cover. More light to try to shroud. Since I am already spending enough time with that, the least you can do is try to keep up. Child. You really have no idea what you are about to walk into. The further we get into this forest, the more dangerous it is going to become. You will need to stick very close to me if you want to survive till the end of your journey. If you haven't noticed already, I'm not much of a talker. So if you're looking for pleasant conversation, you won't find any with me. It's not that I don't want to be. <sighs> I just... I just haven't had a lot of practice lately. I am no good at holding conversation. So, it would be better if we just kept talking to a minimum. You hired me to help find your father. As far as I'm concerned, that is all I am obligated to do. Just keep up. Don't jinx it, please. Just because we haven't run into any demons yet does not mean we won't. We have had just... We have just had a good bout of luck. Hmm. Hmm. It is getting dark, though. We should set up camp and get the wards up. We don't want to travel at night. We won't just have demons to contend with after the sun falls. It's better to set up camp in a small perimeter where we'll be safe for the night. Ah, here should be good. The trees will provide us cover and we won't be too exposed. Put your pack down and help me set up. I know you might not like rabbit, but it was all I could find. And we shouldn't dig into our provisions until we absolutely have to. Look, the further we go in, the less likely we are to find food. We need those to last us for the bad nights ahead. So far the journey has been very easy, little one. But it will get tougher, and you need to be better prepared for that. You have been very lucky that you were able to find a safe haven in this new hell. Not so many are. You truly don't know about how hard life can be out here. So take your blessings when you can get them, and never take them for granted. In the coming days, blessings will be small and few. Shit! The fire is going to be down sooner than I thought. Ah, <sighs> we didn't get enough wood. I'm gonna go get some more. Remember, as long as you stay within the wards, nothing can harm you. So stay right here and do not move. I'll be right back. If you need help, just call out for me and I will come running back. I mean it. Do not... Leave this area. Human. Oh, little human. Won't you come over here? You see, I'm stuck on this stupid branch and I'm having trouble getting free. Oh, please. 
please, human? I just need a little help. Surely your friend won't mind. Just listen to my voice, little human. I'll lead you to where you need to go. There you go. Just a little further. Such a good little human. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, you are so cute. Don't worry, little human. That numbness you feel is just my aura taking its full effect. You see, my voice could only do so much, but as soon as you passed that ward, I could fully take you over. You are so cute. Have you never run into a succubus before, little human? Oh, that's sad. We really are quite a joy once you get to know us. Oh, I promise you we are. There's no reason to start getting scared on me. In fact, I think you should relax. That's right. Just relax, little human. It's been so hard to find humans nowadays, or at least ones that are easy to hunt. With all the hunters and outposts now, you all just hide behind your protection your safe havens, and getting beyond those walls can be so difficult sometimes, especially for demons that haven't had the chance to feed in such a while. You don't have to be that scared of me feeding off you, little one. I can make it a pleasurable experience, all the way up until the very end. Wouldn't it be better to go out that way than being eaten alive by one of my other kin? I'll make it quick and painless. What the fuck? Get away from her! A hunter? <clears throat> I knew I smelled something rotten under this little one's scent. Get away from her or I'll put you into the ground. That one is under my protection. Why should I let this one go? Do you know how long it's been since I've had a meal? Then you will have to go a little longer. Or I can end your hunger right here and now. This one is now mine. She wants to be with me. Isn't that right, little human? See? Now leave us. Let me end this human's life with pleasure. You will only end her life with pain in the long run. I said, let her go. Ooh. Little one, are you all right? Come on, snap out of it. There you go. What did I tell you about leaving the wards? Get back to the camp, quickly. No, I won't let you take my meal, you stupid hunter. I just wanted to eat. Rest now, demon. You were damn lucky I was able to track you. Do you understand how much danger you were in? Thank the stars that hadn't fed in a while. Starving Incubus is easy to deal with, but a fully fed one would have been more trouble for us. Though, maybe you are not the only one to blame. Tomorrow I will put up a ward to keep voice enchantments out. Just please, stay close to the fire next time. I don't need you dying on me right at the very beginning.